All right, a bit of a different topic today, but something I find to be incredibly interesting, and that is CAPTCHA verification. Are you a robot or are you real? Brief history here for anyone who doesn't know, though I expect quite literally everyone watching this is fully aware of the CAPTCHA solving process. A CAPTCHA, C-A-P-T-C-H-A, stands for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. In essence, prove to the website that you're a human being. Now, for a lot of people, these are actually annoying. Having to click through and decipher some sort of visual puzzle is not only time consuming, it's sometimes straight up difficult. But most of us have this back of the mind assumption that what we're doing is somehow worth it to do. We think to ourselves, if it stops the bot programs, I might as well, small price to pay, even if it's a little bit inconvenient for me. However, much the same as anything online these days, that assumption is not fully accurate. And the reality behind CAPTCHA verification systems is anything but straightforward. In the early days of the internet, CAPTCHA verification systems really did work. Back in the 1990s and the early 2000s, most of the harmful traffic out there was composed of simple bot programs that had very limited capabilities. However, in more recent years, the delivery system and sophistication of these programs has dramatically evolved, leaving us in a situation where CAPTCHA is a decades-old solution to a problem it no longer solves. In order to fully understand this, we need to recognize something a little bit scary. The internet, which most of us browse in some capacity each and every day, has the appearance of being vibrantly alive. And it is, to an extent. Here's the thing though, one's definition of alive needs to be somewhat flexible here, because the truth is, a very large amount of all online traffic is made up of automated programs, which are broken down into two categories, good bots and bad bots. Good bots are things like search engine crawlers or shopping bots, which compare prices on multiple websites in real time, helping customers maybe find the best deal. However, bad bots are things like illegal scrapers, click fraud networks, and DDoS attack programs, which are far more common and damaging, composing roughly 73% of all online traffic, according to Arcos Labs. From their 2023 report, quote, the biggest increase in attacks from Q2 to Q3 are SMS toll fraud, up 2,141%. Further down, from Q1 to Q2, intelligent bot traffic nearly quadrupled. And lastly, also from quarter one to quarter two, quote, scraping increased by 432%, end quote. Summarized, loosely speaking, internet traffic in general is primarily composed of automated programs, of which the vast majority are malicious. And one of the primary methods of supposedly preventing these programs from accessing or disrupting your web page is a system called CAPTCHA verification, which has been in widespread usage for over 20 consecutive years. Hopefully that makes sense. Well, what if I told you that CAPTCHAs just don't work? What if I told you that pretty much every single time you sit there and do one of those little picture puzzles or click the numbers and symbols in the correct order, you were flat out just wasting your time? What if I told you that not only are the criminals unimpeded by these defensive measures, they're actually better than you at solving them, also faster, ultimately making CAPTCHAs an antiquated defense measure that serves one purpose and one purpose only, frustrating actual people. Big claim, I know, but let's get into it. First of all, to lay the groundwork here, according to Baymerd Institute, case-sensitive CAPTCHA puzzles have a 29% failure rate among actual people. That's nearly a one in three chance that users will fail at a CAPTCHA challenge if the puzzle is case sensitive in particular. And according to a study from Stanford as far back as 2010, actually, form conversion rates were decreased by roughly 40% when using CAPTCHA systems with an incredibly high false positive rate that drove relatively high numbers of users away from whatever it is they were attempting to do. That's obviously bad for actual human beings, but if the CAPTCHA system was working, at least the price being paid is possibly worth it. Except, it's not. As just one example of how useless a CAPTCHA verification system is, we can look at a website called Colotibablo, or however you say that, where users get paid fractions of a penny per task to sit there solving CAPTCHA puzzles, bypassing the security measure for whoever wants to pay the fee. On screen right now is me solving CAPTCHA puzzles for minuscule amounts of money, and I have no idea who or what is on the other end. It's not ethical to do this, by the way. I only did it for the demonstrational purposes of this video, but it doesn't matter what I do because, quote from their website, there's always much higher worker demand than amount of tasks available, end quote. Basically, the number of people willing to proxy themselves and sit at their computer or on their phone solving CAPTCHA puzzles in real time is always higher than the number of people buying the service. That right there invalidates the security measure for any bad actor who knows about it, but 
that's just the tip of the iceberg because machine learning algorithms capable of solving CAPTCHA puzzles are not just commercially available now, they've gone completely mainstream. In the background here is footage from a Vietnamese ad fraud network called VNXNet, which has since been taken down by the way, showcasing a browser extension called CapSolver, which is capable of solving CAPTCHA challenges in less than three to five seconds across all major security providers. Right now, you can see it completing the 10-part human check verification on Twitter faster than a person could do it. But to really drive that point home, average solving time for image CAPTCHAs, for human beings at least, according to the very same Stanford study we already quoted, was 9.8 seconds. This makes the automated CAPTCHA solving programs not only more accurate than human beings, but also over twice as fast. And that problem isn't going anywhere anytime soon or ever. Initially reported by Contextual AI and since then expanded on by numerous publications, machine learning algorithms have surpassed humans in a variety of tasks, one of which is image recognition. Quote, as part of the release, we created a figure that showed how quickly AI benchmarks were saturating, i.e. the state-of-the-art systems were starting to surpass human performance on a variety of tasks, end quote. In fact, going deeper here, that's not even new. AI systems were capable of achieving human-level image recognition as far back as 2015, and have since dramatically improved with better-than-human averages in everything from speech recognition to language understanding. From the 2024 Stanford Artificial Intelligence Index report, quote, A decade ago, the best AI systems in the world were unable to classify objects in images at a human level. AI struggled with language comprehension and could not solve math problems. Today, AI systems routinely exceed human performance on standard benchmarks, end quote, as well as on page five, quote again, AI beats humans on some tasks, but not all. AI has surpassed human performance on several benchmarks, including some in image classification, visual reasoning, and English understanding. Yet it trails behind on more complex tasks like competition level mathematics, visual common sense, reasoning, and planning, end quote. Well, for starters, CAPTCHA challenges, which are typically just rudimentary visual recognition puzzles, are currently suffering from a 29% failure rate when case sensitive, as we've already mentioned here, for actual humans. So I doubt adding in competition level mathematics would be an adequate step to take. Furthermore, if AI programs have already achieved superior skill at visual recognition and are capable of solving CAPTCHAs faster than humans, as well as more accurately than all of us, the entire premise behind using them to stop automated programs from accessing a website is null and void. At this point in time, not soon or if it keeps going, right here, right now, CAPTCHAs are more of a barrier to actual human beings than they are to malicious bot programs. CAPTCHAs are more effective at blocking your own customers and users, the real human ones, than they are at stopping false traffic from scrapers or fraud networks. And yet companies are doubling and tripling down on their usage under some misguided opinion that if they can make them increasingly complex or creative, they will somehow thread the needle and create a challenge that is capable of being solved by a human and incapable of being solved by an AI, which is not really possible. CAPTCHA at its core is technology intended to prevent a website from experiencing fraud or abuse, and it was tremendously effective for about 15 years. However, that system is no longer effective. And just to really hammer the point home, because this is becoming widespread industry knowledge, despite still degrading user experience with these puzzles at every possible turn, I'd like to read one more paragraph from yet another research paper, this time conducted by researchers from University of California, Irvine, Zurich, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, and Microsoft. Quote, Table 3 shows a comparison of our results to prior security analysis. Automated attacks on various CAPTCHA schemes have been quite successful. The bot's accuracy ranges from 85 to 100%, with the majority above 96%. This substantially exceeds the human accuracy range we observed, 50 to 85%. Furthermore, the bot's solving times are significantly lower in all cases, except reCAPTCHA, where human solving time, 18 seconds, is similar to the bot's, 17.5 seconds. However, in the contextualized setting, human solving time rises to 22 seconds, indicating that in this more natural setting, humans are slightly slower than bots." End quote. That is very definitive on the efficacy of these puzzles. Substantially exceeds the human accuracy range. And yet websites continue to employ these methods. They continue to make them more demanding and complicated and time consuming, resulting in a security arms race of sorts, where the only actual loser is the real human people. 
CAPTCHA, the completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart, is successful now in just one singular aspect, preventing humans from accessing the content they really want. It doesn't prevent bot programs who circumvent it with either proxy humans of their own or machine learning algorithms, yet it continues to be employed by practically every single major e-commerce and social media platform as little more than a placebo. How many people have ever encountered one of these and thought, oh good, XYZ social media is weeding out all the bot programs and the fake profiles? Anyone? The answer is probably most of us, and yet we couldn't possibly be more wrong because these platforms are not weeding out the bot programs. They're simply frustrating actual humans with increasing frequency because CAPTCHAs are an antiquated, ineffectual security measure which the internet has yet to properly abandon. Super fun side note, I suppose if you really wanted to explore the topic, there's gotta be some sort of infinite money glitch possible here. By directing an AI to solve the CAPTCHAs in one of the proxy websites for pennies at a time, and just like solve them on autopilot constantly, thereby harvesting revenue, but eh, I don't know, it seems a little bit shady, but that was a fun thought at the end there. Anyway, that's it. Strange topic, I know, but I was interested and wanted to cover it. If you want support, please check out the links down below, Patreon and Locals, monthly memberships, a special VPN deal with a very big discount, and more, but I'll cut it there and stop rambling. As always, thank you all for watching, question everything, and have a nice night.